Hey there guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. Two icons are heading our way. One of them has already arrived. The other is getting his bags ready because we're unlocking him in today's episode. And it is Peter Schmeichel. And the reason for that is if you haven't seen the monthly rewards video, hit up the channel page, it will be right there. We packed Iniesta and some more high rated cards. Iniesta, I'm never going to be using in the weekend league. Just, he doesn't really cut it. He's not well-rounded enough to fit into my style of play. So, I'm using him in the SBC. That frees up a ton of coins for 88 rating. That really is bringing up the overall. So, I'm going to be able to unlock Peter Schmeichel for literally 300,000 coins. And then, on top of that, we're getting the packs. And we're bringing in a real quality keeper. 94 reflex saves, I think it is. Which is amazing. And then, the other... Icon is a center back. You're going to find out what we've done there. So, Bakioko, uh, Kashelny, my pack, like actually in the last episode, was off the chart. Ericsson, Ericsson, Abamiang, like, come on, man. It's just gifting me coins at this point. So, Fambra, I got rid of loads of these random players I had to sell because I was trying to free up some coins for the SBC and also another icon purchase. 666 coins. Is that a sign of things to come? Maybe in the weaker league, the devil is upon us. We have Kalazinak, though, that I've sold. I could buy him back at a later uh, date, but I just wanted to get rid of him. Uh, Cavani really did drop 155,000 coins. I thought I was going to be able to get, like, 160 170 but he's come down a little bit and the rest of them are just yeah like i said just random cards i'm still trying to get rid of ashley young and he's expired so i'm just going to send him back to the club Thirty thousand coins may as well give him a go later on maybe in the next couple of days so bring him back and also one thing to know and before you say oh fuji you've lost me loads of coins because i've invested with you you don't have to invest with me, but one player I think is going to be fantastic for the player of the month upcoming is between, re realistically, it's between Kevin De Bruyne or I think Sane. Yeah, Kevin De Bruyne and Sane. So those two players are from Man City anyway. So investing in someone like Otamendi, who is a pretty cheap, I bought him for 2008, another one here for 2009. He's a very cheap center back from Man City. And if you're needing a full Man City lineup, he's going to be absolutely perfect. He might go up to 4,000, 5,000 coins. You don't have to do that investment with me, but that's something that I'm going to be doing when I can build up the coins again uh, after this weekend. So let me know if you think that's a good idea. Drop it in the comments. Let me know who you're investing this week and help other people out in the comment section. Drop a like on the video if you're enjoying the series. And I think it's time to unlock Peter Schmeichel. Hernandez and Petit, their cards look amazing. The problem with these two is they require an icon. So straight away, before you even have the chance to unlock all of the other SBCs inside of the main one, you're having to get together 500,000 coins plus to afford that icon. And for us right now, one, we couldn't afford it. And two, I don't think I would actually use Hernandez all the way through FIFA 18. Whereas someone like Del Piero, I'm falling in love with him, so I could see myself using him in every single side. Whereas Hernandez and Manuel Petit, I don't think that I've got that connection with them right now. Peter Schmeichel, though, like I said, he cost me 300,000 coins, which is very, very cheap. And although I have been able to get away with using other players from uh, the monthly rewards, you guys might have to spend 350, 400,000. But 300k for us is absolutely perfect. This one right here is a little bit tricky, and I would advise doing what I've done personally. Using someone like Akadi, play him off chem. It allows you to bring in the ones that aren't really too expensive because if you check these guys, like um, Akore, yeah, 10,000, he's going to get bought. They're all like 10, 10k bin. You've got another one, 10k bin. Whereas you can get away with these guys, 2006. Um, I think this guy cost me 1,300 coins. You've got the striker, 800 coins. So I got a little bit lucky. Uh, I managed to get some deals right there. So five players from the uh, Super League, Liga. I'm uh, not really too sure. I don't watch that league, to be honest with you. 72 overall, 91 chemistry. We got... It meets the requirements, let's get that silver pack. I noticed with a few of these teams, EA have decided to lock a position, and you might think at first, oh, that's fantastic, I'm needing one less player. It doesn't work like that. With that player not having a rating, it's bringing down your overall, so you're needing to, well, uh, afford 82, 83s, 83s, which is, it ends up being 
more expensive than if they were just to leave a position open, which is fine. We can, we can get away with it. Team of the Week players won, so I used this guy that we packed from our weekly rewards, which is totally fine with me. He looks terrible, and I would never use him. And then these guys, I mean, I spend 850 coins on that guy, 1,700 on Calvalio, uh, 2,001 on Bastos. So very, very cheap, really. And for a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, honestly, well, it's not worth it because of the inform. The rest of them, though, really good. This one was really annoying. So it's asking you for two Man City and two Man United players, which is cool. Uh, Premier League, exactly 10. And I didn't see this until I went and purchased Adoris, but then I was able to use him in the other team. So I had it like this to start off with, and that would have been a lot cheaper than having to go out and purchase Morata for, I think it was about 6,000, 8,700. 8,700, that is very expensive. Matcher as well, 6,001. Most of these cards have gone up. I already bought Herrera. Oh no, we must have packed him then. When did we pack Herrera? Probably from last week's uh, weekly rewards. Did I not try him though in one of the episodes? I'm pretty sure I did. So we must have got lucky there, uh, packed him again. Uh, Salah 6,700 and the rest of them I had already at the club. I think I did really well with the Denmark team. Four players is asking you from Denmark. We've got one, two, three, four. So four exactly. I'm able to play a striker as a left back and still get Kem. We've got left wing playing left mid. So none of these, I actually think maybe I changed this guy's position. Is that not Van Quir? Yeah. So he was first owner. I changed his position to a center to mid from a CDM, which cost me like an extra maybe 1,000, 4, 1,005 for the card itself. The rest of them though, very cheap really. 78 overall, exactly, 85 chemistry, and again, another cheap team. Unfortunately for us, the screen promo has ended. So the last SBCs that we completed, we were able to get away with using the Bender Bros to really bring up the rating for 25,000 coins. So with teams like this, we can't afford to do that. We have to bring in the non-informed cards. And, and to be honest with you, Still, it is very cheap. 2002, you had a fair man that cost me 2008. How much was silver? 4,009. Kadira, 5,002. So not, yeah, it's not too expensive. 84 overall, 75 chemistry. You can copy that if you're wanting to. Some of them you might need loyalty, so be aware of it. I did just run into a slight problem. I had to go and sell some of those random informers that we got so I could free up coins to purchase Gamero, Icardi, and Kadira as we had already used them in the last team. This one though is the 85 rating squad you're needing an inform from the team of the week 22,000 coins for him and the most expensive players are these two Godin shot up in price 42,000 and then we had Rakitic for 30k not cheap we're getting one prime gold players pack though. Let's hope that we can bring back a few of those coins. We've been faced with one more problem. Hilton, we used him in the last team, 84 rated in form. So what I'm gonna have to do is open the packs that we've got already and then come back to this one to complete the SBC. Bastos though, I dropped in there. I do like these monthly reward cards. They look great. I don't want to use him though, never going to use him, so 85 overall is a good rating. Likewise with Iniesta, I can't see myself bringing him into a centre mid position because he can't defend that well. As I can, he just doesn't really have that quality with the pace and the shooting. So for me personally, Iniesta is a waste, so I dropped him in there, and Patricio in goals. So those are the three monthly reward cards that I'm going to decide to use, and that really does help with the rating. So let's go and open these packs and come back to this one. Will our pack luck continue today? I don't know. It would be absolutely insane if it does. Silvers though, I'll gladly accept those if you give me some from that Super League that we use for the SPC itself because they are pretty expensive. Some of them have shot up to 5,000, 6,000 coins and if you can sell them to the lazy buyers, that's what it's all about. Like this guy, I'm pretty sure it is pretty expensive. Uh, 7,000, look at that man. That is, that is good. We're selling for 4,000. We won't be greedy. We're selling for 4,005. And list him up for about, yeah, 3.3. <laughs> 4,000 coins just like that, you know. I do hope that Shemichael plays well. He should do. 94 reflex saves. That is unbelievable. No glow from literally just the one rare. So the rest of them must be uh, consumables. Who's that going to be? Benat? No, it's not going to be. Oh, it is going to be Benat. He looks different to what he did last year. He was really good, though. Although Fever 17 was seriously all about the pace, he actually played well. So uh, I don't mind him so much, but I haven't used him on this game. Griezmann once again on our Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Give us the three rares. The three... Oh. Oh. Don't do me like that. It's not very nice. 
And EA know right now that we're in a, a coin situation where we need to be bringing in uh, all of those high rated cards so we can free up some coins. But they're not going to do it to us. Even if it means we have to go and sell some of these consumables, I will. Because I'm needing that Shemichael card for today. Centimid to CDM? No, that's not the most expensive one. <laughs> for God's sake, man. Ronaldo's going to bring it today. Where is the luck at? Is it going to be in this pack? It's all rare. All players? No, it's not all players. Sorry, I lied. What's this billboard? I like the look of that. Mohamed Salah, that's the 7,000 coins that we need. So thank you very much, Ronaldo. I will happily take that. It's not like you're a Bamiangs or anything that special. Oh, someone, someone has sold. Oh, it might have been another inform that I listed. That's sweet. Oh, we've got back uh, Huberes. I like that. And... Newcastle kit. Have I not got a Newcastle kit? Oh yeah, I'm definitely changing that one. That's the elite. No one's going to play me. Prime gold players pack. So we're getting the six rares. I'm feeling something huge, actually. Are we going to see another walkout in today's episode? Oh yes. We haven't packed an icon yet. I don't want to pack an icon, you know. Italy? CDM? Oh, there are C. Oh. 83, come on. That's a little bit too low for a prime gold players pack. I got excited there. That could have been Buffon, Chiellini, Barzali, but it was De Rossi. You gotta love him though. So there we have it. We're back again. Hilton was purchased for 25,500. Really happy with that. We're going to be able to bring in an icon goalkeeper. Hopefully he's the difference in some of those matches. One mega pack as well to finish it off. We haven't really received the best of players to generate the coins to make this what well, is still worthwhile because he's brilliant if we can now get like a huge pull like fifty thousand from this pack here that's worth it will we see that glow an inform i would i would take mertens an inform mertens cavani again yes it's a glow it's a billboard it shakir oh what oh summer 83 oh that's not good that is not good I wonder how many coins we've actually been able to make back from the packs. I, mean, I know that we uh, literally packed Salah a minute ago, who was 7,000 coins. Uh, that Silver, who was 4k. I'm thinking that this SBC legit cost about 300,000 coins for us right now. Yeah, that pack isn't looking anything special at all. all. Right, let's get rid of those. What's going on here then? I welcome you guys to the Weekend League Mega Team on the RTG. So the first icon we went to unlock, which was Peter Schmeichel, six foot four, 94 reflex saves, 92 diving, 87 handling. The card just looks like the best keeper on the game. Is he going to play like that though? I hope so because we've spent 300,000 coins on the card and I wasn't really intending to unlock a keeper anytime soon but as they released him yesterday and for 300k it is pretty cheap with the packs that we got back. So Schmeichel, welcome to the RTG. We've got Laurent Blanc and the reason why I went for Blanc instead of Maldini was because of pricing. I think I would have had to spend 1.1 million on Maldini, whereas Laurent Blanc was 825,000 coins. So we'll work our way up to Maldini. Eventually, I'll probably have Laurent Blanc and Maldini together. That'd be just so good. Or Bonucci team of the year. I don't know what we're going to do right now. But Laurent Blanc, I bought him 6 foot 3, medium to high work rates, 825,000 coins for that card right there. 79 dribbling this man that card there could play a really nice center mid or a cdm in game what a card though as a center back looking at his stats we've got strength stamina aggression stand tackle 87 ball control is he going to be as good as fifa 17 i think so i've never used him myself personally but i came up against him in foot draft and he was a brick wall could not pass him at all now what i wanted to do with the team for this weekend was to go and purchase sterling to get more pace and really better finishing i i mean um william is good but sterling i feel with that extra pace would get a lot more goals for us so now i'm forced to use william because i literally have run out of coins and i'm even trying to get together just a few of those cards that we've got at the club and free up some coins for this man right here carl walker again so i'm going to have to do that before we move into some games i don't want to sell uh, gabriel jesus i don't want to sell alessandrini because i like him maybe i could even start alessandrini but then the right backs from france aren't that great so human son i will keep because i spent like twenty thousand coins on the card and he's dropped to 7k and we'll use him as a super sub um and the rest of them I mean, they're good players. They're, they're good enough for me. So what I want to do right now is make sure that we can get together some coins to go and afford Carl Walker for this team. And then I want to warm up in divisions 
and then we might play a few games in the weaker league. So give me a second. The situation that we're in right now is, to put it straight, we've run out of coins. We've tried to scrape the barrel. I'm still attempting to sell some cars to afford Carl Walker, but right now it's just not cutting it. Bellerin is the replacement. 6,000 coins with the Sentinel chemistry style. His pace is what makes the card, honestly. In foot draft, he was really good and I enjoyed him. In the weekend league though, I don't know how he's going to play at all. His defending is okay. His physical stats are low. With the Sentinel chemistry style, it should bring that up just a little bit. I'm hoping that he does uh, play really well. Right mid position, I was wanting to go and purchase Sterling. I can't afford him at all with the purchase of Laurent Blanc. So William is going to have to play this weekend unless for whatever reason... We can generate 100,000 coins, which I don't think is going to be possible right now. And I don't want to start selling Jesus and Alessandrini because they've been really good for me uh, being brought off the bench. So that is our weekend league side. We've been able to put together a mega team. Really excited to go and play with it. This game took a while to find. And we're up against Shearer. 89 rated Alan Shearer. Rui Costa as well in the midfield position. Uh, is he going to change up his formation? I don't know. Is Probably. I have been struggling a little bit though with this patch. Not gonna lie, that's a good ball. Oh wow. What a save, Shemichael. Big save that was. That could have easily gone in. Nothing is happening in my attack though. It just feels far too slow. And and the passing. The passing needs to speed up right now for me. It's just way, way too slow. Oh, that ball though. Oh, the hair. It's a battle of the keepers right now. Everyone's turning up. That was a good play though. If I can just drag that. Oh my god. His positioning once again. Another day, another goal. He's going to have to commit with uh, Rui Costa. He has done. That was very poor from him, though. Del Piero. Is that going to be a pen? I think Laurent Blanc. Laurent Blanc is going to have to take this one. I'm sorry. He's got really good penalties as well. I remember him on FIFA 17. 91 penalties for Laurent Blanc. And we're going to bang it straight down the middle. Is he going to move? No. I don't know if I like the team width being so narrow. What a finish from Marco Royce. The way he just took that, that was so quick. Mbappe though, brilliant turn. Marco Royce, Mbappe. No, he has to score that. That's really poor to be honest. Uh, he should have scored. Someone asked me, how are you so consistent in every single match? I'm not. Like with this patch, it really has not my confidence. In the attack, it's not flowing as well. I feel like it's really stop start for me. I'm having to read and think of what I want to do instead of it just flowing, which is really annoying. Well done, Blanc. Oh God, Blanc's on a run. I can see him. He's trying to defend it. I'm going to visit into his feet now. Oh, it's gone to Mbappe instead, but Blanc's in the box. De Gea. Can you stop it, please? No. Oh, my God. I'm going to get caught. No, 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 no. Lock off, lock off. Lock off and then lock me back on. Oh, good block, Boateng. That was needed. Jesus. Okay. Alessandrini. He's so good. That inform Alessandrini. I'm so pleased that I was able to discover him. Alessandrini. He's there. Can we cut that inside? Wow. The hair again. Alessandrini. Right, flick it. Hold on to it. That's a penalty. Right, this time are we going to score? So will this one go in? Here we go. I mean, I even had the cursor. Support. Give it back. Fidel. Mbappe. 2-2. 88th minute. What drama in this? It's only a divisions match. I'm not ready for the weekend league. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. I'm going to choke it. I'm going to choke this game. Yeah, I've choked it. 3-2, 90th minute. I've literally passed in the ball. How many errors do I want to make in this match? I've missed two penalties. I've given him a gift of, uh, of a goal. Ignoring De Gea because he was an absolute god in that match. My overall play, I'm not confident. I wasn't skilling, dragging the ball back. My play was so slow. I think, I don't know what it is. Is it the team? Is it? I don't think it's the team because it's amazing. What has happened to me? So I've changed my speed. I brought it up to 70. Let's see if that makes any difference in this match. Alessandrini again. Everyone loves him. He's such a good player. So give it over to Hazard. Haven't really been able to get Hazard into the play. We've got William there though. That was a good cutback, but the keepers today. That was such a poor pass. 
See, some of these passes I don't really understand so much. They should really work. Mbappe, though, another block on the line. I'm trying my absolute best against this guy. And right now, I'm faced up against the Great Wall of China. So many players in his defense, man. It's ridiculous. I'm going to ring down my chance creation to, uh, to 60 and see what that says. And my shooting, bring it up to about 70. It's completely destroyed the flow of the game. What the hell is going on? He can't control it. I can't control it. That was a great goal. That was really nice. I haven't lost two games in a row, like, forever. So, I do go through these problems as well. That was a nice goal, though. Oh, finally, we've actually scored. But, like I said, I haven't lost, like, back-to-back -back games for a long time. And it's not looking good for me right now. I'm actually worried. Oh, he's, I've just left him through. Easy goal. Terrible defending again. I'm switching off. Something with me today. I can't track anything. I can't see it develop. I'm terrible. I'm actually so bad. That's good. Hazard through. Hazard. Oh, that was lucky. I need all the luck I can get. Go, go, go. Oh, that was lovely play. The first nice move that I've done all episode. Really good pick out. Great build up play. Oh, that was a good turn. Yes. Oh, Del Piero. Yes, drop your shoulder again. Cut back. On the edge. Finish this game. Hazard. Finish. Oh, full time. The win itself is obviously great. I'm more or less relieved though that we haven't lost the game because of how I'm playing in the attack. It's it's linking up. It's it's my own build up play. It's not quick enough. I'm not reacting sharp enough. It is a problem. I don't want to be too harsh on myself though because both of those matches I have controlled the play and got a lot more shots off than my opponent. The play though in this team, what's going wrong? What's going right? Well, my custom tactics. I'll try to sort this out a little bit. The pressure and aggression I think is fine. I'm not really struggling that much in the defense. It's, it's in the attack. Honestly, is in the attack. Maybe I'm going to bring up the passing to 50. Have that as 50. 70 chance creation, I like that. Uh, 70 shooting, I had that on 70, I think it was. Uh, 70 speed, maybe bring that back down to 65 and see how we get on. I don't really want to be changing my custom tactics though. I had a really good set last week and now for whatever reason they don't work. Thanks. <laughs> it's so annoying. What's going on? How many goals are we going to aim for in this game right now? Four? Five? Uh, I don't know so much. He has himself Bale and Neymar. That's a nice attack. That's going to work as well. What a save. Well, wow, okay. <laughs> oh, nah, I, I just, I'm done with, I'm done with FIFA today. I think right now I'm just confused with the passing mechanic. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Like, sometimes I'm right there, and it just doesn't work. That was a great ball, though, through to Del Piero. Yeah, <laughs> eventually it makes its way into the back of the net with this horrible lag. But it's not even the lag, though. I'm just trying to learn the passing mechanic. I'm right next to my player. I'll pass the ball, but it's under hit. Like, most of the attacks, is under hit. Good turn from Mbappe. The game is just lagging so bad right now. Come on, please. We can attack. Play it. Pass, please. I beg you. Loading symbols. We're still on this attack. Turn them, Del Piero. It's like Mbappe. That's the ball that we need from Del Piero. Mbappe. 2-1. Two, two shots, two goals. 57% possession, though. I'm controlling the matches. I just can't build up. This is where I keep getting caught, and I think it's because of my pressure. Let me uh, go Ultra D. And see if that works. What a finish from Bale. Wow. That was dirty. I feel like I've lost my ability to play FIFA today. Come on. Can we... See, look at that stuff. Why is that doing that? I don't get it. Mbappe, though. Can we finish? See, like, simple passes. That's what I don't understand with the mechanics. Lovely goal from Hazard. That was a good finish. But do you see what I mean? Or is it just the way I'm playing? Give me some advice. Thankfully, we came away with a result. 3-2 it finished. So the good news is that we're playing bad, but we're able to win games. That's not good, but you understand what I mean. So as long as we can grind out these results, I'm not fine, but I'm fine with it.
if that makes any sense. I'd really appreciate if some of you guys could give me some feedback on my gameplay today. If I've, for whatever reason, said, why hasn't that worked? Timestamp the video, let me know in the comment section maybe what I've done wrong, because I'm struggling to understand and just get the passing mechanic right now. When I'm available to accept the ball on the edge of the box with someone like Del Piero and I pass it into his feet, I might be like 10 yards away from him and it's under hit, underpowered, and it's completely destroyed my attack. And that's what I don't understand because surely that shouldn't be right and in the game. Or maybe it's something that I'm doing. So let me know in the comment section, give me some feedback because it's not even me like complaining at all like we've won games we lost the first game which i threw away don't care about that at all it's me wanting to get better at the game because right now my overall play is being held back and i think it's the build-up play that i'm struggling with right now because with this team we've basically built the best possible side that we can put together so i know that it's not the players not the team so it's myself and the game we're not, we're not seeing eye to eye right now. Oh, what an off day for me. But hopefully you have enjoyed today's episode. Leave a like on the video. We brought in Shemichael. I think it's too early to tell whether or not he's actually good or bad. So with the full 40 games, we'll see what he's about. Laurent Blanc felt really nice though. And Del Piero is good as always. So hopefully we can get better and we can work together and find out what's best and how we can pass on this game because it feels really weird for me. So drop a like on the video and I'll see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.